Hello and welcome to Stockwatch presented by me, Evan Lucas for Go Market Securities. As always, please have a very good read through of the disclaimer on screen. Everything in this video is general in nature. None of it is not upon it as any form of personal advice. Go Market Securities does not know your personal scenario, nor your personal financial goals, and therefore none of it is not upon it as any form of advice at all. It's just general in nature only. I want to review REA Group's numbers because I think they were quite interesting in terms of what they told you and the reactions that came out from the market. Clearly, having an 18% surge in overall revenue, also on the net profit line up 20%, the headline looked pretty reasonable. And the one that everybody, particularly in the analytical world, looks at, if you have a look at the EBIT number, 245 million bucks was a beat on consensus, which is good to see due to costs. Now, do know that Melbourne and Sydney was a major driver of that. They were always going to be, considering we'd seen a fairly rough start to 2023 in that space, and therefore the ad market was always going to get better whatever happened and the fact that Sydney took off was certainly helpful. But what was in there and what I think sort of people got hung up on was the higher cost guidance. And that was a real negative in terms of where it is. And there's limited visibility on the revenue outlook as well. So all of that taken together, that possibly explains what's going on. Though even though the outlook is still quite rosy and they're telling you that, it was quite a sort of downward beat with regards to the outlook. They're being quite conservative. And also the fact they told you that OPEX was incredibly much driven by other areas that weren't there. And if you look at it, they've put OPEX guidance into the mid-teens from their prior low teens. The increase was due to strategic initiatives and supporting growth for their overall business, looking to continue to roll out you know, tech inputs, etc. The issue with that is that normally this gets seen as cost of doing business costs rather than what they are, which is an investment in the company. And it is an investment in the company. I mean, this is a tech company. It needs to reinvest into its online marketing. It, re it needs to reinvest in the strategic directions here and overseas. So it continues to grow, but it will be seen as an expense rather than an investment, as I said, and probably explains the reaction to what happened in REA Group. The fact that they fell 4.2% on the day and have fallen since their results is off the back of it. Overall though, you have to say this, it's an incredibly good business, incredibly well run, it is absolutely the market leader in that space. And despite the negative reaction to their numbers on the day, the overall outlook is still pretty rosy. And there is a reason REA Group is the go-to player in this space. It's because they're the best.